This is a Dubro Whirlybird 505 RC helicopter. One of the first RC helicopter kits ever offered from roughly 1972, I think. This one's been modified for electric power. So I've got a brushless motor, uh, battery, 2200 milliamp 4S LiPo pack, speed controller, and a receiver all on the rotating part of the system. So there's no wires between here and the fuselage. And this is a torque reaction drive. So when you turn on the propeller, the main rotor spins the opposite direction from the torque reaction. And you can see the tail rotor is driven from the main rotor through some gears that are in here and this uh, tail rotor drive shaft wire. Tail rotor is an interesting mechanism made of brass parts. This gear is particularly fragile. Mine's on its last legs. I'm going to have to figure out how to replace that since they don't make them anymore. Um, I modified the tail to have a uh, different linkage instead of the spring-loaded one. So there's a little bit of slop in it. Actually a lot of slop, but it still works. These blades are just made of plywood. <clears throat> I also modified the rotor head. There used to be a fly bar system here. And the fly bar you know, came out to about here with some weights. The uh, swash plate, uh, the arm to drive the main rotor fly bar uh, used to have a timing offset of about 40 degrees. I removed all the timing offset. And these push rods used to be spring loaded rather than a direct connection to the servos. Right now they're, if we turn this on, They're directly connected to the servos now without any springiness. So basically I've turned this into a fly bar list system. And uh, in order to do that, I had to put in a stabilization board that has some gyros on it. And uh, look closely. Maybe we can see the swash plates moving. It's a little hard to see. Actually, I'm doubting that you can see any of that. <clears throat> so there's basically three axis gyro stabilization on the uh, roll pitch axes and on the tail rotor. The tail rotor has a gyro system on it also. And uh, I tried flying it with the original rotor head, but the response was really sluggish and uh, undefined. And I had a lot of trouble flying it with these modifications. So I switched to the fly barless system. And it's much more responsive and uh, easier to fly for me. So uh, that's about it. It uh, flies for about five minutes. You can't fly it in any wind at all. Uh, it really, I mean, you can fly it, but it takes a lot of control force to trim. And it, it just, uh, with a lot of cyclic input, the rotor shakes a bit. And uh, it's just not a very smooth helicopter. The main rotor RPM is about five or 600 RPM. It's not very fast. There's almost no lift on the main blades. It's most of the lift is on the small propeller. So it's barely a helicopter in that sense. It's more like a VTOL aircraft that happens to have a rotor for control and stabilization. And uh, oh, another modification I did on the rotor head is I took out there was some angle they had built into the blade. I got rid of that and added some extra tip weight. Basically just try to turn it into a conventional rotor head as much as possible. That's it.